My great-grandfather owned a cobble shop in Boston, Massachusetts in the 1800s. It was located in downtown Crossing on Washington Street. And uh, he was very successful at it. Everybody knew him, everybody brought their shoes to him, and he fixed them and made the shoes like brand new. So the 1870s rolled around, and a major, major recession hit the area. So he lost his business, and everybody walked around with holes in their shoes because they couldn't afford to fix them. So he didn't know what to do, and he heard about the gold rush in California, so he decided to head out to California and try his hand at finding some gold. So he got on his horse, Rigoberto, and he headed out to California. It took him a few months to get there, and eventually he reached a town known as Coloma, right by the American River. And he started digging for gold and all that, and he really wasn't too successful at it, but he had another talent. He had the ability to make horseshoes, and in that town was a blacksmith shop called John Puckley's. My great-grandfather went and applied for a job there, and he got it. And uh, he started developing a reputation of making indestructible horseshoes. Nobody knew how, but it was the case because nobody's horseshoes were wearing out. But my great-grandfather, he had a little secret that he didn't expose to anybody. He had figured out... Uh, a way to mix certain elements together to create a super strong metal. It was about 60 times the strength of steel, but only at 40% the weight. So all the business was going to that John Puckley's place. When the owner John Puckley died, my great grandfather inherited the blacksmith shop. And uh, he was very, very busy in those days. Everybody went to him. He actually guaranteed the horseshoes to last the lifetime of the horse and they always did. Anyway, my great-grandfather died in 1915, and he always had a safe in that shop. Nice big safe made out of the material that he used to make the horseshoes with. And inside that safe was one piece of paper with a formula of how to make that special metal. When my great-grandfather died, he passed on the secret to a place called the Crane Foundation. And I don't know if you know the Crane Foundation, but the Crane Foundation recently licensed that formula to NASA to build the next space shuttle using that metal. That metal is called Zemelvatron. Very powerful metal. And the latest is that they're going to start using it in the building of skyscrapers, making them virtually indestructible. Thank you, great-grandfather.